We cannot treat a person seriously ill with COVID-19 if we do not have oxygen. 80% of people hospitalized because of COVID-19 need between 3 and 15 litres of oxygen per minute. For the other 20%, the needs are even more severe. They need more than 20 litres of oxygen per minute. Oxygen is therefore vital for them, and without it they risk dying. But how do we give oxygen to our patients? What are the constraints of these various methods? And how do we put these systems in place in the countries where we work? Let's head to Aden in Yemen to understand better. In the COVID-19 center that MSF has set up in Aden, there are 40 beds. To keep as many of those patients breathing as we can, we use a massive 250 bottles of oxygen a day. Every day, the trucks arrive, the bottles are unloaded and changed for each patient. The bottles are connected to piping by what's called a regulator. It is a long and exacting job to change each of these bottles and it monopolizes the time of many workers and the bottles cost a lot of money. We also have to find the parts that allow the bottles to function, such as the flow meters, in a market that's extremely stretched by the COVID-19 pandemic. Thankfully, there are alternatives, oxygen concentrators and oxygen plants. Supply is a problem, however. Because of the coronavirus, it is more difficult to find oxygen concentrators for sale, and those that are available cost more than normal. Another option is an oxygen plant, the extra large version of the concentrator. In Aden, we have ordered a plant with a flow of 500 litres per minute that will help 30 patients to breathe. The two constraints at the moment are the availability of this type of machine and its delivery. How can one of these be delivered from Shanghai in China, where it is made, to Yemen, a country at war and that is difficult to access? There are a couple of options. Either it is delivered to Dubai or Djibouti and then goes on a ship towards the port of Aden or is delivered by a cargo plane. The problem is that each stage means time in quarantine and that means time that is not in service in the COVID-19 center in Aden. And once delivered, it takes a week for the machine to be installed along with the piping system necessary to get the oxygen from the machine to the patient's beds. During that time, the patients will continue to be given oxygen via our other, more constrained solutions. The provision of oxygen is still a major challenge for our COVID-19 projects around the world. Other oxygen plants are on their way or have already been installed in Bangladesh, Burkina Faso, Chad and Haiti, places affected by COVID-19 where MSF is intervening.